Hey guys, welcome back. So this is my YouTube Artist Collective piece for this month. The theme this month was Ice Fantasy and it took me a while to figure out what I actually wanted to do for this piece. I just had so many different ideas and then I had no ideas and it was just... It took a long time to get this sketch down but I'm happy with what I went with in the end. Um, I made quite a few different choices and changed the design a few different times when I was doing it. Like at one point she had uh, ice wings which you'll see me drawing in a second and then it's the background uh, that that was just a nightmare but I'll get to that bit soon um I'm trying to draw more full body pieces now because I do a lot of bust shots hip shots and it's it's not really that good for practicing my anatomy which is what I really want to improve on at the moment because even though a lot of them are I wouldn't say they're great, but they are fairly good, sort of. Uh, what? Well, yeah. Anyway, I don't feel confident in my anatomy still, which is why I've done the 12 Days of Art Drawing Challenge Anatomy Edition. But I'm just, I still have to do multiple sketches to get the right anatomy down, and I'd like to just get better at it so then I can just draw it either the first or the second time, and I know it'll be all right then instead of having to redraw constantly. So. This was one of those pieces where I was practicing with that. For the piece I wanted to use my pencil crayons, I bought some Polychromos pencils with my birthday money back all the way back in April and I barely even used them. So I really wanted to use them for this piece and I was going to do the whole piece in it but then after how long it took me to do the woman's body, it just, no, it was taking far too long. This took me hours just to do her body. Which, don't get me wrong, I like how it came out, even though I did struggle to get the values right for her skin because obviously I normally use skin tones and I've been doing skin tones for so long now it's just sort of almost second nature to get that almost, I won't say the perfect either, but almost right. Whereas this, it just took me ages to figure out how dark I wanted the shadows and how light to do the highlights, what colours to use, stuff like that, and then getting the right tone of blue that I wanted, which wasn't quite right. I wanted it a little more teal but I just didn't have the colours available to do that and I really didn't want to cheat and go to markers when I wanted her to be, at least just her to be, all in pencil crayon. But it it still worked out alright, I'm quite happy with it. Um, yeah, it's just drawing the crystals as well. The crystals took surprisingly a long time to colour, even though they're all quite small. I don't know why they took me so long, but... I, was, I guess I was just trying to get all the detail in and make sure they stood out against the body because they were still the blue, which I think the ones on the bust don't stand out enough, but it's it gets better when I put highlights in at the end with my white gel pen. But yeah, um, I took the crystal wings out that I mentioned earlier because I thought the overall composition of the piece was it looked a bit too cramped on the page because she's already quite far down the page. I mean, I made sure to not try and just squeeze her on. It, I was quite lucky that it went on. But because I really wanted the crystals on the head, I had to move her down. And with the crystal wings, it just, it looked, there was just too much going on and too many crystals as well, like ice crystals. So, yeah, I, I think it looks a lot better without that. So, yeah, um, here you can see me. I'm actually retracing the outline of her onto a separate piece of just plain sketch paper because I really struggled with the background like trying to design it and I did so many different things I ended up because I've got a few other youtubers that I talked to in a group chat I ended up asking them and their advice so they had a little bit of a sneak peek of the piece but it, it's fine I trust them they, I know they won't tell anybody <laughs> not that they yeah but I one of them suggested doing a moon in the background like a big moon um, and I really like that idea but I made. I wanted to make sure I had a really dark background so then she would stand out because of her being such a light colour and it was just and then I drew the moon out and I thought no I, I don't know if I like this or not but let's just go ahead with it and I realised using pencil crayons for the background would just take far too long and I'd be there spending most of my time sharpening the pencils so I ended up using my markers and again, it's, I was using so many different colour combinations. I tried purples, I think like ultramarine, teals, using all my different markers. And then I went over it with some greys as well to try and tone the blue down and the purple and blend it together. I went with bluey greys with a hint of teal 
in the end but it just took so long to do and I think two or three of my blue markers are nearly dried up now thanks to this piece but it's worth it it's 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 worth it I have a few blues but I, I think I'm gonna have to get some more Um, but yeah here you can see I'm just trying to blend the color out a bit more and then while I'm refining the shape of the moon a bit and trying to get it rounder I'm just like no I don't like this moon I'm, I'm just gonna color over it it'll be fine and then yeah I just I think I used my royal blue um, no, brilliant blue and then I used a mix of that and ultramarine and uh, and a royal blue there we go to colour over the moon which in the final image you can still see the slight outline of it which I quite like but I like the way the royal blue and ultramarine sort of create a glow effect around her and then they fade out to the dark so it worked out well in the end and I decided to do like a to show because I wanted her to be magical and have like magical powers she had like a frost pattern um, coming from her hand and then I just did some snowflakes in the background just to fill the space so it wasn't so plain which I I liked some of them, some of them didn't work very well but it, it still looks good overall so I'm quite happy with it. I think if I were to do this piece again I would probably do it on a bigger piece of paper and do it a landscape so I could get a better background because I think that was what the problem was. I couldn't do like a really cool background like with the moon or anything like that and get detail in there because she was taking up so much of the page and this is only on A4 Bristol board so I I think if I did this piece again or one similar I would definitely do it on a much larger piece like an A3 and do it in a landscape format and probably do it either with paints or digitally because I think I could probably colour her better digitally but I really wanted to do a traditional piece um, one because it's quicker and I wanted to test myself with my pencil crayons but yep here you can see I'm just outlining her with my white um, Signa uh, gel pen just so she'd stand out that little bit more but I didn't want it to be too harsh it was not a very thick line but yep this piece is available on my Redbubble store so please head on over to check that out I'll leave the link down below and at the end of the video but I hope you all enjoyed the video and how the piece turned out thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye